Hello and what is up YouTubers and welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you how to create really easy 2D games with a website called Exploder. It's a really nice like program type thing. So once you go on the website that will have it in the description. I don't care about that. Once you go to the website that's in the description you will go here and then on here or no you won't go here. It will be like this. You have to click sign up and then you go through here and just sign up. It's really really easy. They don't need that much of information. So then once you get here, then you can, oh, it kind of glitched, I think. <laughs> okay, so now once you go there, then you can play some people's games, and it's really, really fun that people, what people have created on here. You can even write the games and stuff. It's really cool. So just go to make a game if you want to create one. There's um, Retro Arcade, which I've actually never tried since I haven't been on here for a really long time. So that is actually new. So I've been on here for almost over a year, but yeah. There's Platform Creator, there's Physics Puzzle Maker, and also Classic Shooter. But for this example, I'm going to be going on Platform Creator. Because it's probably one of the simplest. Yeah, I guess I'll load that. Yeah, here's this, and here's the basic tools. This one, you can like select objects, select multiple objects, like this. This, you can drag across the screen. This is like the... Uh, drag tool and this is like the select tool you can zoom in zoom out and then get a full screen of your project color changer so you can change like the back the game background color like the sky let's just do uh, let's do a red let's do a red and then ground color let's just let's do like a yeah let's try that yeah okay I guess I'll try that so then once you then you can go here let me just create a new project if you want to yes I do okay so then once you go here you will come up with this menu where you can select objects and you can pick different objects to drag and drop into here you have to drag and drop them and if you and that's gonna take a really long time if you want to just drag each individual object so if you want to select or if you want to copy some objects just select them and then shift and drag press shift drag shift drag and there and let me just select all these now shift and drag and it kind of glitches kind of like right there I don't think they have perfect pixels or something like they don't align correctly I don't know still really cool and then also you can do it like this ah. like this and make like a uh, ceiling stuff and then also you can add things like this to it stairs and ramps let me just go get a stair it's kind of like a little slide down there also you can go to walls and decorations add um decorations to it you can add doors drag it here there's a ton of different doors there's even floor doors and there's auto ones there's key ones that you have to collect a key to get it's really really cool there's um tons of things then power ups. Then there, there's probably a few new things that I don't know about on here, since I've been on here for a little while. There's checkpoints, so if you die, you go back to that. Torches. There is shields. There are armor, different type of armor, like different levels of it and stuff. There's different abilities, like almost. I think there's like a force one. There's a big jumping one. There's guns. There are blast guns, even more guns, even more guns, flamethrowers, grenades, all that awesome stuff. And even, if I remember correctly, there is a, a uh, right here, power suit. Straight that bad boy out there. And then once you want to play it or test it, just go to test, test level. Or if you want to test your own game, if you create new scenes, which I'll show you how to do in a second. This is how it would look to someone if they were wanting to play it. If they were wanting to like play your game because you can post it and stuff and people can play it. Mm -hmm. So just move around with your WASD keys. Mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure that's correct. You shoot with your space up with your um W key. I can't really get into that power suit, I don't think. Alright, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can't really get up though, so. Yeah, there, I got out. So yeah, I have a ton of stuff now, and yeah, pretty awesome. So yeah, you can make awesome games with this, and I will show you another example of a game that I created. 
Okay, so here's a game that I created. It's created with the physics puzzle maker, which I did not show you how to do, but you can make it with it. It's really awesome. And it's called Angry Faces Halloween Demo. Okay, so you have, uh, I think it's like, uh, I don't remember exactly when you, how many, um, Angry Bird things that you get. But the first level is very, very easy, just like that. And you just move around your mouse to aim it and stuff like this. Move it around and like that. And now, since they're bricks, they're a bit tougher, so let's just try this out. Got that. Oh, dang it. Even my own game, I can't get it the best score. Yeah. You win. And then load loading the uh, leaderboard. Here's, a, like, a ton of people who played my game and also some of me. I'm in second place. I still haven't gotten in first place. Let's just try that one more time. And again, all these games that I'm playing here will be in the description, except for the one that I was showing you how to meet, make. Okay. Now let's try to beat this. Okay, you win. I don't know what. Oh, my time. Oh, it was 0 0.3 right here. Uh, that wasn't that great. But yeah, so let's, I think, yeah, I have a one, two, three, four, five star rating on here. So that's pretty, pretty cool, I think. At least I think. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this. And here are the games that I've made. I'll have them all in the description. And I will talk to you guys later.